Guys, FS Pred Gamer here with Fire Coder. Yo. Um, today we're playing Halo Master Chief Collection, and we are doing a sword lunging video because it's finally in MCC. Um, this is showing you the easiest settings to have, and we're going to go ahead and play through the mission to the part where then we'll tell you how to do it and what I'm thinking is for the uh, visual part Let that end do charger or something what charger so, the yeah. one that I'm using for my phone or the White one, one for the controller the one for the controller well this is like I think my third video I was going to upload another one, but I didn't have enough time, so... You was going to upload, like, ten hours. But, here we go. We are the arm of the prophet. Now, this is my cam. From... Well, we're playing as the Arbiter. Because you immediately start off with the energy sword. He actually has no idea how to do it. I do. I used to do speed running of this game. He threw a fucking grenade. I know. I pressed the wrong. I pressed the wrong trigger. I mean, I mean, did you see how my character looked? Right at that moment, I said, "What the fuck?" He just sees a grenade, but what the fuck? But um, what I'm going to tell you in this video is going to be actually how the what you should have in your head when you're doing it. so when you're doing a sword lunge if you seen right there how my character as soon as a sword popped up it already was swinging they wait for you to leave them. what you do is you press and hold the Y button on a, any other gun than the energy sword so for, for this case uh, his secondary gun, well, his primary gun, is the um, plasma rifle. And plasma rifle has a de decent distance. But there you go. One second. Well, I think just for you guys, what we're gonna do when this 20-minute video starts to end, I'm going to add a video that I was gonna upload from Halo, where me and Firecoder were glitching a warthog through the entire map on what was it halo 2 or halo 3 it was halo 2 or halo 1 maybe it was, oh, halo, yeah, 1. No, it was halo 1 halo 1 so we're going all the way back to halo 1 and we're going to show you guys how we glitched a warthog through an entire map that you're not supposed to have a warthog now if you notice my my little green square is really far away it's just because i wanted to get straight to the part and um, I tried to not have any skips or anything in this video so we could at least, you know, show you, hey, we're going all the way here, we're doing it all the way here, and everything. So, I got packed me a little Lipsky, and today I'm doing <laughs> some Look more. at this grenade! I accidentally threw another one, guys. <laughs> And yeah. it's just bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Yeah, because of the elevator. But um, gonna pack me, gonna pack me a little lipsky. Today I'm doing some Timberwolf long cut peach. We gotta get the wintergreen next time. I don't even know if they have a wintergreen. Yeah, they do have one. Yeah, I mean, Did you plug um, my phone. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna get a little, a little warm in here. Robert, and I am freshly out of dip. I had Cope straight, just gave fire to the last pinch a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. dip. Take a one. That gator looked like a motherfucker, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> Taking the dip, I'm holding the mic. 
and um, Get over there. he's struggling. Very much so. <laughs> So it's going to be kind of boring for a little bit. Um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to comment on the video once it's uploaded, the time to skip to for the actual tutorial. Yeah, we just kind of bullshit on the channel sometimes. But um, what do you want to talk about until we get to the actual point where we need to? I didn't even realize he was shooting my teammate. I forgot he was there. I didn't even see him. So, um, what we can talk about is some channel news and some well, Friday news. I got some Friday news and I read about it. Guys, get your hopes up. Jason X is coming. Uh, they said maybe around Christmas. So hopefully they're gonna add him. That's why they didn't remove his character bio in the in the personal cabin. Um, and news for me is I am getting Forza Horizon 4 in two months. So me and Firecoder will be uploading videos from Horizon 4 every day for three hours a day. We're streaming on, we're streaming on Twitch. Two hours a day, and we'll do a video on YouTube every day. Almost every day. Almost every day. Basically, my plan is is to get as much Forza content as we can. And again, we're splitting it up. So there's going to be some stuff on mine, some stuff on his. Like the drag racing, he will be uploading. The drifting, I will be uploading. We both can do you know, each aspect of the game. I mean, I'll upload a couple of drifting videos, but that's mainly Fire Coders Kingdom there. Mm -hmm. Well, what, I, what I'm actually meaning is like the drag racing, mostly everything. But you're still going to be doing a bunch of drifting videos, but it's still like the review for the drag racing in Forza Horizon 4. Yeah. And then the review for the off-roading in Forza Horizon 4, then the circuit racing, and I'm going to be doing the drifting, the rally. We'll be doing everything on the channel. We'll be Forza Horizon 4 will be channel until Motorsports 8 comes out. Don't know when that's coming. Turn 10 of the year. Sometime in 2025. Yes, that's a reference joke there. <laughs> I really hope it, I really hope it comes in uh... Did I work? Warm you up? Oh, just just saying you said that the public. Huh? I said just saying you said that the public. We're recording. What? Yeah. We're recording on YouTube. Probably too far. I don't know how to do this mic. You have to wait up next to it for it to pick you up. I mean, it's picking you up right now. I mean, you know, being a little louder. But, but like my mic. Okay. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. My mic. I'm just gonna say, guys, I actually fell out of the. I, oh, I didn't fall out of Banshee, I exited the Banshee. <laughs> yeah, he jumped out of the Banshee <laughs> because he was trying to do something. Just hit the wrong button. Oopsie poopsie. Yep. I only had one wing for the longest time. At one time, I didn't even realize I was shooting at him. <laughs> yep. The dot. Look for the dot. Look for the green steering angle. The green steering angle. Steering angle. 
gear angle there. What was that one thing we were laughing about that I said? Right. It was so funny. You laughed at your ass off for an hour. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, it was smear smock. <laughs> oh. No, it wasn't. It was. <laughs> well, until we get to the main part of the video, I'm going to be in fire coder if he wants to. We're going to explain how we became best friends. Uh, it's your story. Well, he used to, put, he, I wouldn't say pick on, but he used to mess with my cousin a lot, my cousin Thomas. And I'd get really, really pissed off about it. I said, Thomas, I'm like, I'm going to beat his ass if I see him in the hallway. And I stopped him in the hallway. He's like, yes. I was like, my exact reaction to this random kid coming up to me and going, you wear it? was, yes. My exact reaction. And then... I, I, I kind of stopped myself. I was like, all right, this kid kind of seems chill just by the look of him. So I said, I seen, because I could hear him in his book bag. I'd hear clink, clink. And then I said, I said I went up close to him. He said, dip in your book bag. He said, yeah. He's like, my man. <laughs> yeah. And I shook his hand. And we sort of, we hung out, and then he got mad at me because his ex-girlfriend started hitting on me. And I didn't even want anything to do with her. So he followed me and her because she wanted me to walk her home, so I walked her home. And she, he followed us, and he's like, well, I can't take this. I don't know why you'd walk her home. She's nothing but trouble. It was more of the idea of you two dating for the fact of well, even then, you was one of my best buddies, even though we barely even talked. And you were still one of my best buddies, and then... There he goes. <laughs> yep, there I go. <laughs> there it is. It was more the fact of her trouble. You know, you, you two dating, and you getting in trouble because of her and all that crap, and... Saying, oh, don't hang out with Eric. Yeah. And then he, he's like, he was shaking. This is how pissed off he was. He was shaking. I was like, okay, dude, you need to chill out, man. And yeah, I, and we, I was, I was so pissed that I could feel myself shaking. And most of the time, when you're pissed, you don't feel yourself shaking. And he, he was gonna deck me, but he couldn't do it because I was his friend. And mm -hmm. I just talked it out. Like we walked here to his his house and we we sat outside and we had a root beer and we watched Bruce Stew. Yeah we watched Bruce Stew. If, if you don't know who he is, he's the funniest person on YouTube. <laughs> Besides the What is it with you? Oh, Jesse Ryan USA. Yeah. <laughs> but the dip review. Where that man I'm <laughs> all about him. Oh, that's funny. But, um, yeah, we literally that day, we, I grabbed two chairs, and I was getting thirsty, so I thought, huh, he's probably getting thirsty too, so I went in, couldn't find any Mountain Dew, so I grabbed a root beer, and then. Green beans. Green beans. Green beans? Green beans? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure you already took one. Sorry, we're getting dinner. But um, yeah, we, I grabbed us a root beer. We sat down in a chair, and what did I have at the time? I think I had a Coop Straight. Yeah, cause he was dipping on Coop Straight for the longest time, and he whipped that can out and he said, "Want a dip?" And I took a dip. We sat. On the, on the driveway, in the driveway, and we chilled until it was time for me to go home. And I went home, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, Eric's a really cool kid. I want to be best friends with this guy. And then we sort of became best friends, and that's why we're partners in YouTube and starting a company together. Mm hmm. But, um, here's the part where 
let's get into the actual main topic of the video. Now, he doesn't do this, and it's really hard when you're first learning. That is why he doesn't successfully do a lunge, but he does show me doing a lunge. Yeah, because I couldn't do it because I haven't practiced with it. I could do it on the Xbox 360, but I could it not. It was way easier back then. But it's not now. Like I have, It's kind of hard to do it. I haven't played Halo in four years. It's um one of those things of, it's not any different from the old style, but the margin of time that you have to actually perform the lunge is so much smaller. And right here is the part of the mission we're trying to talk about. You see that guy right there? The hologram. I'm pretty sure you'll... Yep, right there. So what I did is... What you're going to do is you're going to press and hold Y. Which is your switch weapons. And then you're going to go up to him. And... See where those are turning green? You're going to press to do um. You know, hold Y. You're going to have your reticle on an enemy. It only works with an enemy. You can only lunge at enemies. And when you're holding Y, your two fingers, your trigger finger, and your um. Fuck. Reload. You're going to have. You're going to press the reload in the trigger to do an actual lunge there's a difference between B and um, the trigger with an energy sword as you can see right here this is basically the same thing I'm pressing reload in uh, B which is just hitting he hit the best his best friend mm -hmm. yes. but when you're doing that, you're hitting them at the exact same exact same time. I thought it was the exact angle. Yes. And when you're doing that, it's canceling the reload is canceling the hit, but the hit is going through in a sense. The same thing applies with the sword lunge. So I actually get him positioned so you could properly see it. There I am right there next to the other Solar Elite. He got a little confused for a minute, but we got him in the right place. I, I am out of it, guys. Today, I'm just not, you know, me. Yep. So, I'm all the way back there. Look at my green. And... Whoop! That is a successful sword lunge. Now again, you're going to press and hold Y. As soon as you let off of Y, you're going to reload and swing. This is going to switch weapons to the sword. It's going to trick the game in thinking the reticle is still red. And when that happens... You sword lunge. Yeah, you sword lunge, but you're canceling out the sword lunge at the same time. So the game gets confused, and it when you get to the enemy, most of the time it won't actually hit the enemy, you'll just fly right to them. So you're canceling out the hit, but you're still getting swung towards them. I hope you guys are able to eat that. <laughs> yep. Might need a table. But, um, so this is basically the end of the video. We're going to go ahead and eat our dinner. <coughs> oh, guys. And, um, I, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to take a video with his phone of me doing the sword lunge, and he's going to show my hands. And he's going to do, he's going to point his camera at my hands, I'm going to do it, and so you guys can see how it's done. This is the end of the video, guys. I'm Fire Coder. I'm FS Pred Gamer. See you guys.
Hmm. <laughs> 